Welcome back you guys. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how I made these shelves on my wall. They are technically picture shelves, I think, but I use them for books. So if you wanna see this, then stick around. If you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. My name is Sarah and I'm a homeschooling mom to five kids, ages 10 and under. And on this channel, I love to share content on homeschool, motherhood, DIYs, and faith. And I love to just empower and encourage others in all of those areas. So if you want to be encouraged, empowered in any of those areas, then consider subscribing below. And don't forget to hit that little bell button so that you're notified every single time a new video comes out. All right, so let's get started. All right, you guys. So as you can see, I just started this project off by just sanding all of my wood down till it's nice and smooth. I am using 220 grit sandpaper and my electric sander. I love this thing so much. I can't even imagine trying to sand things by hand. No thanks. Praise the Lord that someone invented a hand sander. So the next thing that I am doing here is I am just taking, this is an actually an old cotton t-shirt that I just cut apart and I'm just wiping all of the dust off the wood so that when I go to stain it, it's not going to make a big giant mess. So pretty much you're just wiping all of the dust off. The next thing you're going to do is stain your wood whatever color you want. I am using the Minwax uh, brand. I can't remember the color I'm using. Uh, I think it's like light chestnut or maybe just chestnut. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's a nice dark color brown and I really like it. But anyway, I am just using an old t-shirt to rub it on with and this stuff will eat through gloves. It did eat through these gloves here. Uh, so beware of that. And it does say to use a stain conditioner and it will give a nice evener uh, application. But when I got this, I didn't realize that. And I just don't have time to go back to the store and get a new one. So I'm just using what I got. The next thing you're going to do is assemble your shelf together. So I am going to assemble first the one by two to one of the one by fours. And I just did it with some wood glue. If you just have a lot of clamps and wood glue, this would work way better and you wouldn't even need nails. But I only have two clamps and I had four shelves and I needed to get them done. So I ended up just using glue just for that extra stability. And then I added the nails to help kind of hold it together. So you don't need the nails if you have lots of clamps or if you just make one at a time, whatever. But um, I'm using both glue and nails. And I used five nails. So I used one in the middle, two on either end, and then one in between each of them, if that makes sense. The next thing that I am doing is I am applying some more glue on the other side of the one by four that we nailed the one by two in. And I'm going to nail the other one by four on this. And I'm doing it the same exact way. I do one nail on either side, one nail in the middle, and then one in the middle of each of those. And then here you have your finished product. Look at how cute this is. Now the last step is to seal it. I used this polycrylic. It's about $20 for this size can, and it lasts a long time. Um, I've gotten the smaller cans before, and they just don't last as long. Like, the really small can probably lasts me like one to two projects, whereas this has lasted me so long. I have sealed so many things with this, but I really like polycrylic. 
Um, the thing about polyacrylic, though, is you have to do thin uh, coats down, and then you do three coats. So that's what I'm doing. I am doing three thin coats over this, and then I will be done. So here is the first coat, and then I let it dry, and then I apply another coat, and then I let that dry, and then I apply the last coat. There are instructions on here. Do I follow them? I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't follow them. It. I think it tells you to even wait two hours in between coats. I don't have time for that, so I don't do that. And... I think it also says to sand in between, and I don't do that either. I just don't have time for that. I have five kids, so I don't have time to do this. Um, and this would take me so long to do one project. Um, if you want it to be really nice, I guess, you could do exactly what the directions say. Um, but I'm going to tell you what I don't and mine comes out great. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, obviously you already saw the final product from the beginning of this video, but here it is the final product. If you guys enjoyed this video and making these shelves with me, then please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It does help my channel when you guys like and comment. It helps other people be able to see these videos. And I just love to help other people out and give inspiration in all sorts of areas also make sure to check out the description box where you will find all the materials i use to make these shelves and if you like videos like this consider subscribing below and don't forget to hit the bell so that you're notified every single time i upload a video all right guys have a blessed day